In the episode number 126 of the ASAP Tech News, we talk about the latest Deepcool Liquid CPU coolers. Subbrand introduces a 2TB M.2 SSD in the 2030 form factor. The latest AMD graphics card drivers and Kyoxia introduces a new PCIe 4.0 small form factor M.2 SSD. We start with Deepcool and their all new liquid CPU coolers, the LE520 and the LE720. These two CPU coolers are part of the LE series and features different radiator sizes and addressable RGB LEDs on both the included fans and the CPU water block. The fans included with these CPU coolers have a minimum speed of 500 RPM and a maximum speed of 2000 550 rpm. Of course, thanks to the 4-pin connector and the PWM functionality, these fans can be easily controllable through your software or a fan hub. These fans also use a hydro bearing system and are rated for 85.85 CFM. When we are talking about the pump, this has a constant speed of 2400 rpm for the LE520 and 2550 rpm for the LE720. And when we talk about the MSRP of the CPU coolers, the LE520 has a recommended price tag of 79.99 euros, while the LE720 has a price tag of 99.99 euros. Next, AMD has released a new graphics card driver, NOAD version 23.5.1. This is a certified driver and thus should be more stable than a beta, if I had to explain this to you after all this time. This new release brings out day one support for the new The Lord of the Rings Gollum video game with advertised performance gains of upwards of 16% over the last driver release. In terms of fixed issues, we have some. The application crash or driver timeout may be observed during video playback using DaVinci Resolve Studio. Brief display corruptions may occur when switching between video and game windows on some AMD graphics products. Higher than expected memory usage during shader compilation time when first launching The Last of Us Part 1. And intermittent system crashes while playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 on some AMD graphics card products. And as always, this driver leaves some issues unresolved, but that's the case nowadays for all driver releases. We continue with Subrent and their latest small form factor M.2 SSD, the Rocket Q M.2 2230. As the name suggests, this SSD has a 2230 form factor and can fit in many notebooks and desktop motherboards. The SSD is advertised to deliver speeds of upwards of 5GB per second while also having a storage capacity of 2TB, at least for now. The controller used on this SSD is the Fison E21 while the memory chips are made by Micron. This type of SSD is ideal for small form factor devices such as the Steam Deck or other portable consoles. And finally, Kyoxia introduces a new small form factor M.2 SSD series, the BG6 series. These are PCIe 4.0 M.2 SSDs that use the 2330 form factor, and just like the before mentioned small form factor subbrand SSD, these two are designed to fit in small notebooks and portable consoles. However, the Kyoxia SSD is the first product to feature the company's new 6th generation BICS Flash 3D flash memory. When we talk about storage space, these SSDs will be available in multiple variants, 256, 512GB, 1TB and 2TB. As for the speeds, the SSDs are advertised to hit upwards of 6GB per second for the reads and 5.3GB per second for the writes. Unfortunately, the pricing is not yet known. And this is the end of the episode number 126 of the ASAP Tech News, one of the few techniques series which aims to deliver you the news as fast as possible for your convenience.